If you were to go back to when you were either high school or college and you're having a conversation with your 20 year old self, what's the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Define your absolute goals. What are they? What are your goals? What are your goals as pertaining to your dreams? And now put a timeline together and put a plan together. I love that. I absolutely love that. And I guess what for you has been the significance of goal setting, you know, throughout your life, throughout your career? Like what has been the significance of that for you? Goal setting for me has the, the successful goals that I've achieved have been based on passion, real passion and real determination to be that person or to reach that goal. I love that. So and it has to be driven by passion, but you have to be able to identify your passion. And what industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? The industries that I've worked in have been oil and gas on the contractor side most of the time. And I love that because it involves people and involves a lot of people, which is my passion. Mm -hmm. So if you define your passion, then you should find the industry where you can best exalt that passion. That's amazing. Did you always know that you wanted to pursue oil and gas or did no, you kind of fall no, into I it? I didn't or? identify my passion. That's wow. why if I was talking to my 20-year-old self again, yeah. I would redefine where I how, to, how I was going to get there and what I was going to do. So how did you end up falling in the industry? It just happened to be a place to make money, best place to make money. My family was in the industry. Right. And I guess a lot. there's kind of a lot of controversy in today's world about the different types of energy out there, but what do you think the future of oil and gas kind of looks like over the I next few years? I think the future of oil and gas is almost over. I do not believe we will ever be without oil. I mean, we will always refine oil for something, big equipment and things like that, but I think solar power is there. Wow. I really do. I think solar energy and, of course, liquid natural gas, LNG. Wow. And I guess I'll ask you throughout your career, if there's any particular skill set or a mindset or something that you've seen that's really led to not only your success, but just people in general that's really created success, how can someone start their path to becoming wealthy going into 2023? Learn to listen. Define, find people that you believe identify with the goals that you have and the passions that you have and take the cotton out of your ears, put it in your mouth and listen. And when people are starting to make money in their careers, where do you think people should kind of look to invest or put their money to try and multiply and grow the, the income that they have? I think that 401k is probably the absolute best way to go. And you start out with 401k, but you get very involved with the provider of that 401k and the underwriter of the 401k. And you just learn to hands off, but understand, you know, where the investments are. and. I think a lot of people tell you invest in 401k, but don't ever look at it, don't ever this, don't ever that. Right. Just get involved and learn. Learn and listen wow. to where you can manage it yourself. I love that. And just two or three last questions for you. But you said that you were kind of on the contractor side, which involves a lot of negotiation and sales. So what was your secret to sales when you were in that position? What would you tell someone pursuing sales that really helps win people over? Understand their needs and be able to deliver. I love that. And just two last questions. But what was the best financial decision that you ever made throughout your career? Edward Jones. What exactly? Like Edward Jones, they, I turned all my money over to them. And they really taught me to, to understand the different parameters, when to take a risk, when not to, learn to watch the market. So is it kind of like, do they control like investments or are they kind of like financial advisors? Or? They financial advisors. Oh, wow. And my last question for you, but if there was one year, like what was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? The most amount I made in a single year was 2008. Yeah. How much? 700,000. That's amazing. And to get to that point, though, it does take a lot of hard work. What were the biggest driving factors of success for you throughout your lifetime? Understanding the needs of what our nation needed and what the industry needed the most and how to manage that. And at the time, what was that? It was labor, foreign labor. So you were able to kind of employ people? Yes. Were you able to do that? Realizing that we needed foreign labor and doing it as honestly and as openly as possible. Pretty much patterning after what Canada does. They have a great immigration program. We have a broken immigration program. So pretty much just patterning what they do. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your time.